The best way to integrate the cosine of x from 0 to pi by 2 is by using the following reduction formula. So the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of sine to the p of x times the cosine to the q of x equals the gamma function of p plus 1 by 2 times the gamma function of q plus 1 by 2 divided by twice the gamma function of p plus q by 2 plus 1. Now if you look at your integral here we see that q equals 1 and p equals 0. So if we plug in all of this information into our reduction formula we see that the integral from 0 to pi by 2 of the cosine of x, uh, sorry about that, the cosine of x with respect to x equals uh, the gamma function of 1 by 2 times gamma 1 I believe yes divided by twice gamma 3 by 2 and it's okay if you don't know the gamma what gamma 1 by 2 is because you would obviously know by now it's very trivial uh, to know the recursive uh, definition of the gamma function or the recursion formula for the gamma function that is gamma x plus 1 equals x times gamma x so instead of writing uh, 3 by 2 down here, you could just write this as 1 by 2 times gamma 1 by 2, correct? So that cancels out the gamma functions, and there you go. Everything else is pretty easy. You're left with, you're left with gamma 1, which is in fact 1. And that is the correct answer if you check, it out, if you check out Wolfram Alpha. Next up, let's try integrating x with respect to x. Now this is in fact extremely simple. Let's not overcomplicate things. I mean, all we have to do is integrate e to the natural log of x with respect to x. And of course, we'll have to perform a substitution here where we let the natural log of x equal t, which implies that 1 by x dx equals dt, which implies, of course, the dx equals... Now what is x? x should be... Uh, e to the t, correct? So dx equals e to the t times dt. So what you have here is now the integral in the, in the uh, t world, e to the t, and the differential element is e to the t times dt. So that means you have to integrate e to the 2 times t with respect to t. And we all know how to integrate this, right? This is pretty simple. It's e to the 2 t divided by 2. And if you want to go back into the x world, we see that uh, t was in fact the natural log of x. So you can make use of some basic properties of the natural logarithm that everybody knows, right? Everyone knows this at this stage. And the e and the uh, natural log are going to cancel out and you're left with x squared by 2 plus. Because Cristiano Ronaldo is without a club, he should consider teaching calculus. So, see!